So our topic for the day is fractions, as I said. Before proceeding into something, it's very, very, very vital to know what you're studying about. Yes or no? That's important, na? Without knowing what the topic means, can you study? No. Even though it is mathematics, you should know what is the meaning of the term that you are using or the, uh, the topic that you are going to study about. Okay, all of you? So, over here we are talking about fractions. So, when we talk about fractions, what does it mean? Fraction is actually a part of a whole. For example, if you see the diagram over here, this is a whole thing. When I divide it into two halves, they become two parts. So, part of something whole, that's called a fraction. In other words, a fraction is a number that represents a whole number. Now, let me tell you one thing important, that a fraction is a part of a whole. But these parts are always equal. Okay? They are equal parts. It's not like randomly. For example, suppose in your house, you have various parts now. Like your uh, drawing area, your bedroom, kitchen, washroom, right? Balcony. Your house is divided into so many different parts. But are they all equal to each other? Is the size of the bedroom and the size of the washroom or the balcony or the kitchen equal? No, no. Some portion is small, some portion is big, some is even bigger. Right, all of you? So, in this case, we cannot say that the balcony is a fraction. We cannot say that the balcony is a fraction. Okay? Balcony is not a fraction of your house because they are not equal parts. When they are equal parts, that's known as a fraction. For example, let's say a pizza. A pizza is divided into equal slices. Yes or no? Yes, na? You like eating pizza? You like eating pizza? Who likes eating pizza? You like eating pizza? Okay. So see, if you like eating pizza, I also love eating pizza. So if we buy a pizza and throw a pizza party, what will happen? If the uncle divides them into unequal slices, won't we fight with each other? I'm not that kind. I won't share the bigger part with you. Okay? I'm not kind. I'll take the bigger part. You'll start crying. Now in that case, what will happen then? What will happen? You'll feel sad. You'll say, oh God, such bad teacher. She has taken the bigger slice and given us the smaller one, right? So it's very important for the uncle to divide it equally so that we don't fight with each other. So in that case, it's represented as a fraction. Okay? So our house is not an example of fractions because our bedroom and our balcony is not of equal size. But yeah, the pizza slice is. Okay? So pizza slices are a very, very, very common example of fractions. Okay, students? So I hope now uh, those who knew and those who did not knew even now knows what fraction is. Okay. Next. So now when, since you know what is fraction, you must also know this that it's very important for you, know, to, for you to know that whenever you write a fraction, like numbers are single digits, single numbers, whole numbers. Okay. But fraction is not made up of one part. It's made up of two parts as you can see on my screen. How do you read it? 5 by 6. This is how fractions are written. Okay, boys and girls. The yeah. number at the top is written. The number is the top is read first. Then you read the term by, then 6. After that, what happens is the number at the top, the one which is written at the top, that's called numerator. N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R. Numerator. Okay. <laughs> And the one below is written as denominator, D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R, denominator. I repeat, fraction is made up of two parts, a number at the top and one below. The one which is written at the top, that's called numerator. The one which is written below or underneath, that's called denominator. Okay? Okay? Show me your thumbs if you understood. Very good. Okay. Now, how to decide which number is to be written, which written, which written, which number is to be written on top and which number is to be written at the bottom? 
Which number is to be written at top and which is to be written at bottom? How to decide? Huh? Anyone? Yes, Ishita? Um, the one which is at the bottom or how many there are. Yes. And then five is how much is shaded or is taken. Okay, um, very good. So it's very easy. See, the number of parts we are talking about. The number of parts we are talking about, that's the numerator. Okay. The number of parts we are talking about, that's numerator. And the total number of parts are written below, that's the denominator. Total number of parts, that's the denominator. Number of parts we are talking about, that's called the denominator, uh, numerator. And total number of parts, that's called the denominator. For example, see, this is a pizza. One, two, three, four, five, and six slices over here. Okay? So total number of slices, six. So total number of parts written below six. And what is this five? This five represents the number of parts I have eaten. So out of six parts, I have eaten five slices. Now one slice is left. You people can share among yourselves. Okay? Okay? Happy? I leave one slice for you. Not happy? But still, hardly matters because I've already eaten five slices. I cannot take it out of my tummy now. Okay, so number of parts I talk about, that's called the numerator. And the total number of parts, that's called the denominator. Okay, everyone? Okay. Moving on. So now see over here is an example. What is actually a fraction? Suppose this was an entire apple. So how do I mention it? One complete apple or one whole apple? Okay. After that, what I do? I cut it into two halves from the middle. So half, because it is two parts. Okay. It is two parts. After that, what I do, I further cut it into more two halves. So it becomes one fourth, right? Because first I cut it into two halves, then I again cut it into two halves. So four parts now. Again, let's say furthermore, I cut it into more. These four parts also I cut it into half, half each. So total eight slices, yes or no? So it's yes. basically... It's not important how you're writing. It's like uh, what I'm trying to say is how you are cutting or how you are dividing anything that makes a fraction. Okay. How you are dividing something, the fraction depends on that. If you divide it once, two parts and so on. If you divide it twice, four parts and so on. Okay, all of you? Yes. Okay. So can anyone tell me the fraction of the shaded parts over here? Can anyone tell me? One. One. Huh? Viraj, Viraj was here, no? Nah? Viraj, are you here? Not here. Okay. Uh, Swati Pawar. Yeah, the, uh, Swati Pawar, I forgot the name. Sorry, Pita. You can go ahead with the first one. First is the 1.4. Second is the 2.4. Wait, wait, only one, one, one. We'll give others also a chance. It's not 1.4, it's 1 by 4, okay? 1 divided one, by 4. 1 by 1, four. 2, 3, 4, and 5. So what should you write in the denominator? Denominator, 5. 5, very good. Because total 5 parts out of which 1 shaded. Yeah, Ruchi Sharma. Turn on your camera first. You're raising your hand. What's your name? Your name is Ruchi? 1.5. 1 by second 5. One. Second one. Second one. Second one. Second one. What's your four. name? 2 by 4. Okay. What's your name? Shreyas. Shreyas. Okay. 2 by 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts. So 2 by 4. Okay. Next. Yes. Uh, Jaya. Ishita, I'll give you a chance. Everyone will get a chance. Jaya, the third one. How many parts shaded, Jaya? Um, Jaya, how many parts are shaded? One by four. One by four. Shaded, shaded, Pita. See how many parts shaded? Three by four. Three by four. Very good. So it's simple, right? You just count the number of parts you're talking about, write it on top. You count the total number of parts, you write it below. Okay? 
Now moving on, fractions are of many types. For example, as you can see over here, proper, improper, mixed, like, unlike, unit, equivalent. So these are so many types of fractions. Right now, for the time being, we are not going to cover all these types. We are going to cover the main three types that is proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. Because rest we complete in detail in our regular classes. Okay. We complete or we like we go in details in our regular classes in all the details and all. Okay. So for the time being, we are going to cover the main three types. They are known as proper, improper, and mixed. Now, what is a proper fraction? When the numerator is less than the denominator, when the numerator is less than the denominator, as you can see over here, 3 is smaller than 5 now. Yes or no? 3 is smaller than 5. So that's an example of proper fraction. Okay? When the situation reverses, when the numerator is greater and the denominator is smaller, when the numerator is smaller, it's proper. When the numerator is bigger, it's improper okay and lastly coming to mixed mixed means mixture of anything mixture of two things or two or more things right mixed means mixture of two things now so over here one is a whole number or a normal number that you know and one is in the fraction form okay when you have both combined together that's called a mixed fraction for example two three by five or say 1, 1 by 7. I have one whole number, one complete number, and one fraction part. So this is an example of mixed fraction. So everyone understood the three types of fractions, proper, improper, and mixed? Anyone wants to ask anything? Any queries? No. No? No. Okay. So, this was a small brief about fractions. What did you learn? Fraction, the parts of fraction and how to just figure it out, right? You understood now how to figure out the numerator and denominator. Correct. The types of fractions. Okay. Now, would you like to solve some questions? Select the incorrect match. Which is the incorrect match? Ishita? Which one is the incorrect match among these? The first one point. is right. Five point everyone, else, please be oh, on I mute. Everyone apart from Ishita, please be on mute. Everyone will get a chance. One, two, three, four, five. Five point one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, uh -huh. eight. Last. Uh, one, two, one. Is it one, the first one correct? Yes. Yes. Five out of ten parts is four, correct. Five. So this is a correct match. Four, is five. the second one correct? Four, yes. Yes, this is also correct match. Is the third one correct? Yes. Ma'am? Ma'am? Four out of six is correct. Wait, wait, wait. Third one is also correct. So, obviously, the fourth one is an incorrect match. Yes or no? Yes, it's four. If the two. first three are correct match, you need to find the incorrect match. No? So, obviously, the fourth one is incorrect, right? Yes. So yes. That's my answer. Four by, that one says 4 by 10, but, said, but in the answer, it said that's 5 by 10. Correct. It's 6 by 10, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 part cheated. See? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So it should have yeah. been six by ten, but it shows five by ten. Okay. One more example over here. Anyone who did not get a chance? Sampunna? Sampunna, are you here? Okay. Looks like not. Okay, see, next one. What fraction of the given figure is shaded? What fraction of the given figure is shaded? Shreyas, what fraction of the given figure is shaded? I don't know. No, no. Anyone? Jaya, can you? Yeah. 
square should be divided into triangles? No. See, I'll tell you how to understand this. Firstly, if you observe closely, this is made up of four squares. Yes or no? The figure is made up of four squares, na? Correct? Now, in this square, in the first one, it's divided into four parts, out of which two shaded. That means half of the figure is shaded, correct? Similarly, over here, four parts out of which half shaded, two shaded. This one also same, out of four, two, half shaded. This one also same. That means, what can you say? Half of the complete figure is shaded. Yes or no? Can you say that? Did you understand? Did everyone understand, boys? Boys and girls, did you understand all of you? Yes. Yes, very good. One more, the last one. Read carefully and select the correct option. See over here, the first one says fraction of green capsicum in basket one. This is basket one. It is 6 by 11. Means what? That out of 11, there are 6 green capsicums. Is it true? Let's see. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's true. Out of which, how many green? 1 over here, 2, 3 over here, 4 over here, 5 over here, and 6 over here. So this is true, na? So the first statement is true. Is the second one true? Fraction of yellow capsicum in basket 2 is 6 upon 11. See? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So this is also true. Next says red capsicum in basket 1. If in basket 1, basket 1, green is 6 out of 11. Total is 11, na? Yes or no? All of you? Yes, yes or no? Total is 11. Yes. Out of which 6 are green. That means how many red? 11 minus 6, 5. Correct? Correct? See all of you? It's, it's a bit difficult. Are you able to follow students? Total were 11 capsicums. Now out of which 6 were green. So how many red? Remaining red obviously 11 minus 6, 5. Correct? Similarly, in basket 2, basket 2 also okay. has total 11, out of which, out of which 6 are yellow. Correct? So, how many green? 11 minus 6 again, 5. Yes or no? Yes. So, red capsicum in basket 1, 5. Green capsicum in basket 2, 5. 5 plus 5, 10. So, this is also true. Hence, all of these is my answer because all of these are true. Yes or no? Yes. 